All right, so I've made the process of setting up LV Compare and LV Merge really simple. Uh, the first thing to do is to go to this particular web address, https colon slash slash gitlab.com slash sas blog slash LV Compare dash merge dash setup. And that takes you to this GitLab repository. And you can scroll down, it's got a couple uh, shell scripts here. LV Compare wrapper and LV Merge wrapper. And what they do is they set up the paths that come out of Git diff out of the git tool so that LV compare likes them because by default uh, they're formatted wrong and it doesn't like them. And this setup tools that sh this just puts these wrappers in the correct place and sets up your git config file so it can find them. Um, you can go open those up and take a look at them they're just text files. The important thing is to copy this string right here and then go open up get bash and paste them in there. And for some reason, my computer does not like to find GitLab the first time, but typically the second time it works just fine. I don't know why that is. It's kind of annoying, uh, but that's all you gotta do to set it up. And now to test and see that it works, I have a project here. Uh, I've made some changes and saved them. Uh, if we open up get bash here in this folder, You'll see here my prompt is telling me I have one file modified. If I type in git status, you can see that I've modified uh, main.vi. And now if I type in git diff tool, it should pop up. Uh, it asks you first. That's fine. You hit yes. And you can see it's launching it. And here it shows me the changes. Uh, I can turn off front panel changes and cosmetic block diagram changes. And what really changed was the string. So in the raise the old, so in the previous version it said hello world, and I updated to say hello universe. I will talk a lot more about how the git diff tool works later, but uh, this is just enough to verify that it's actually set up and working. So if you have an existing repository, you know, make a commit, go in, change a VI run git diff tool and it should show up here like this. And if you use source tree, uh, you can see I have one on stage change here, which is main VI. And if I want to see what changed, I go over to this little settings looking button. I click external diff and it should launch the same thing. And so that solution works for both source tree and for git bash. Thanks.